Hey guys, Joe here. Doing a video game haul video because I scored. It's it. That's all you need to know. It's all you need to hear too. It's one o'clock in the morning, so if I look like I'm tired, it's probably because I'm tired. But here's how it goes. This morning I figured I needed to go and pay for the table rent for the flea market that I'm going to participate in on Sunday. So I got up a little bit early and I figured I'd maybe get some breakfast or something on the way. And I decided out of nowhere completely to stop at this Salvation Army where I've picked up some stuff in the past, some of those Dreamcast games and whatnot. And I walked in there and I walked up to the case and there was some stuff in there and some of it was decent. So I'm gonna show you the few okay things and then we'll move into the really awesome thing that pretty much completely made my day. Uh, there was a disc only copy of Final Fantasy X, Final Fantasy X. It's in better shape than the one I have, however it is a greatest hits one, you can tell by the red lower. But it's still in better shape than the one I have that has the Blockbuster sticker, so I'll probably change that out. Um, next they had a copy of Afro Samurai. And that's on the PS3 obviously. And then they had all of these, and they've been building up this collection apparently for a while, and I've noticed it, and I finally just said, hey, if I take all of them, what will you do for me? And what they had was three We Fit and four We Fit Plus. However, one of them is for the... Uh, only for owners of original We Fit We Fit Balance board. So whatever, that must have been packaged in with there, but that's fine. Anyways, I got all seven of these for twelve bucks. So that's under two dollars a piece, and I can sell these on. And we all know these. Even if I got five dollars a piece, that's thirty-five dollars. Um, but realistically, I'm going to probably bundle a couple of them out and sell the rest at the flea market. So no matter what, I'm going to get my money back. Afro Samurai and Fantastic, or excuse me, Final Fantasy were $2 a piece. Now, what really got my attention was three games that were sitting in the case. And the fact that they were still in the case kind of blew my mind. I, at first, I thought they must have been fakes, but they're real. They're 100% legit. And I'm sorry if I keep like having problems talking some of this stuff came from a place that must have been like a 50 pack a day smoker because it is just killing my lungs right now and i do apologize <coughs> so i'm trying to go through this pretty quick just because of that however these three here they are sweep it in three sweep it in four and bammo So we get in five. All three of these were still in the case, and who knows when they were donated, but they'd been there for a while. They had to have been there for a while, but nobody bought them. And as soon as I saw them, I walked back to the lady that had the key to the case, and I said, can I have the case key? I'm going to buy some of these things, and she's a really cool lady, and she's like, yeah, sure, no problem. So I pull all of the games out, and I set these aside, and she says, you find the ones you want? And I said, yeah, I'll take, you know, we negotiated the deal on all the Wii Fits. And I started getting stuff, and I said, how much do you want for these? And she says, oh, just give me four bucks for the three. <laughs> what? <laughs> Here. And I literally um, ran over to the counter and said, give me. So, yeah. Um, don't know if I'm going to sell them. Don't have to, because they were so damn cheap. And they may go up in the future even more. But anybody that's currently a buyer of these knows that, you know, that's $15 to $20, depending on when you buy it. That's $15 to $20. If you bundle three and four together, I notice you get more money. But that by itself is a $60 to $70 game right now. And this one's actually in really good shape besides the stickers on the case. So, yeah, sorry about that. Didn't mean to hit you there. So I could technically get like $115 to $130 for those. Or I can just keep them forever. So... Anyway, I left there and I was happy. I was content. I was like, man, I don't need to get a single thing else today. And my week has been made. But 
it was early. I went over to where you reserved the table at the flea market, and it turns out that they're only doing it on Saturday mornings and Sunday mornings right now because they haven't hit April yet. And come April, they'll do the advanced bookings. So I'm going to have to go back tomorrow. But again, I was a little bummed out, so I left. And I got on the road going towards work. I figured I'd see if there was any place to stop. And I kind of wandered back over to Alexandria in the Annandale area because the last time I was there, I didn't really go to that many places because I was running late uh, for time, so I had to go to work. So I stopped at a couple of stores to check them out and see what kind of stuff they had. And again, got even better. My day did. Uh, first thing, these aren't really big deal, but these were at a Goodwill. I got a Blu-ray Star Trek to test out the 360, or excuse me, the PS3, and then a copy of X-Squad. Um, it's not worth anything, but it just looks like a really bad game, and I like trying really bad games. So I got those. Those were $2 a piece. And that was about it. I was getting ready to go to work, and I googled thrift stores near me, and this little one comes up that I'd never heard of before and of course most of the little guys you've never heard of and I drive over there and it's in an old building it's like a three-story one of those small thin three-story buildings and they literally had stuff coming out of pretty much any opening they had stuff hanging out of the windows stuff piled up outside the door I'm like this isn't gonna be good it's just gonna be antiques no I walk in there and literally it looked like a bomb of stuff just exploded inside this place there was stuff on walls there was stuff stacked up on the floor i probably could have spent the whole day just going through their stuff and not have discovered everything they did have some games set aside in a case and i was looking and what they had was a couple of games but the only one i thought i'd pick up was call of duty 4 because it was three dollars and i figured that would sell at a uh, flea market pretty well for you know five bucks or so but as I was waiting to pay, I see behind the counter, kind of off to the side, a Wii. Now, it was in a bag, and it had a bunch of other stuff with it. And here, if you look, I'll read it off to you. It said, Nintendo Wii, console with games and two remotes. Game includes Wii Sports, Wii, White, uh, Wii Winter Sports, and Wii White Sports. You know, like curling. Um, Wii Super Swing Golf, which is a Wii White Sport. Um... No power cable, untested, sold as is, no returns. They originally wanted 50 bucks. I have no idea when they originally got it, because when I saw it, it said 35 bucks. And then I'm sitting there going, hey, look, you don't have the power brick and the AV cable, and those are the most important things on here. And it was missing one of the covers for the memory cards, although it did have the GameCube port covers. So I said, would you take 20 bucks? And they're like, sure. So I was getting ready to just take this because I can get the power cables and stuff pretty cheap on Craigslist. And they say, well, we have this other one, too. Uh, this one came with the manual, by the way. And Wii Sports was in the system, and I hooked it up with power and stuff. It works fine, so I took that out. But they asked me if I wanted to have, or if I wanted to buy, this. Pretty much it was complete in box. However, it didn't have a remote. So they said, we'll sell you this one for 20 bucks too, because it doesn't have the remote. But it had the power cable, and it had the AV cords, and it was in pristine shape. So I was like, hells yeah, and I bought it. So And I tested both of these in their store, in front of them. I showed them that these worked. So don't forget, this one, which didn't have the power cord, had two Wiimotes and two nunchucks. This only is supposed to come with one. So I just took one from the other bundle, put it in here. Now I have a complete inbox Wii to take to the flea market that works well and is super clean. So that should uh, get me my money back, no problem. And I got another Wii. So yeah, I, uh, I was very happy. Um, two things that came from eBay. Grab that thought of five. I got it because it was really cheap. The bids were just about closed. He said it worked, but the case wasn't in good shape, and it's not, and it doesn't have the manual. But the discs are really nice. Uh, Four dollars. And then I'd been looking for a new copy of Forza 4 Limited Collector's Edition. Now, I know I've said it in previous videos. I love my driving games, and if you actually check my username on Forza 4, which is Jiminy3105, you'll see I'm in the top 1% on every single track 
in every single class of car. That's because I've spent hundreds and hundreds of hours playing this game. Now, I, I did have the Steelbook, and I've had a couple of copies of the Steelbook, because I didn't realize how expensive they were, because they were just at GameStop, and I figured, oh, cool, it's a Steelbook, I'll take it. I sold my last Steelbook in January, and I regretted it instantly. Um, I got 19 bucks for it, and I was like, shit. I shouldn't have sold that. I was in a hurry to, I needed to come up with some cash, so I sold it. And I'd been looking and looking and looking, and steelbook copies were $25, $30, $35 just for the steelbook. And I, I almost bought one. Almost did, because the guy said he'd come down to 30 And I was like, yeah, I'll get one. This will be the last time. And I went on there to look at the Buy It Nows. A complete collector's edition. It's got all the manuals and the inserts, however he said the codes were used, but it was the steel book, the box, and the art book, which looks like it's never even been read. For five dollars. Five dollars. I think he meant to put it on for fifty, but I got it for five bucks. And he shipped it, so he he honored it. Even though I, I'm sure he wanted more than that for it, so Hells to the yeah, now I have a complete collector's limited edition Forza 4. So, I know what you're thinking. He must be done. He must have gotten the awesomest deals ever in the history of awesome deals for him and moved on. Obviously, I didn't get Earthbound or anything really awesome like Flintstones and, you know, whatever. Sorry, this smoke stuff is just killing the back of my throat. Obviously, I don't swallow or deep throat. <laughs> I knew you were going to go there, fuckers. So, I'm at work, and of course I'm checking stuff out, because the flea market's coming up. I figure if I can get one or two more systems, I could take them out there, flip those, and make some more money, and then turn this into like my secondary hobby um, outside of work and collecting. So, I see some stuff listed, and what was listed was, and I'll show you these, because I was going to show them to you anyways, but a copy of Dot Hack Infection Volume 1, and it had the um, extra disc in it, as well as Bully. I've never played Bully, but I heard it's a fun game. So those were on there, as well as a black wireless 360 controller. Now, what caught my eye was the city name, because I'd only seen one person write the word Chevrolet, even though technically that's where he was, in the Craigslist ad. And he didn't put any prices, which, again, tipped me off. This was the kid that sold me the Digimon World that gave me the huge deal on it. And I, I emailed him right away. I said, hey, man, this is Joe. I'm the guy that bought the Digimon World from you, I think. Are you the same guy? And he says, yeah, that's me, man. I said, sweet. I see you got some stuff. I've already done some business with you. Hook me up. And he's like, okay. And I'm like, do you have any other stuff? Now, don't forget, this was only a week ago when I went and saw him last time, and I asked him that same question. I said, do you have anything else before I get there? And he says, no, I don't. So that means he either found all this stuff between then and now, or he just didn't look last time. I kind of think he found all this stuff because it's kind of random, but it's all decent. So I agree to meet him because he sends me this huge list of stuff. It's like 35 pieces I'm going to show you. And he says he'll take a hundred bucks. Now, the only other thing he had that I didn't get this time was he had the Halo Legendary Edition box with the statue, and he wanted 50 bucks for that. And that's about what they go for, so I really wasn't in the mood to pay retail for something that I didn't want to keep. If I had gotten it for like half off or even 75% of retail, I would have bought it and taken it to the flea market. But instead, for an agreed $100, I got all this stuff. Uh, the Prima Guide Skyrim, however, it does not have the map in there, so it's not worth quite as much, but it's still a $10 guide, and it'll be good for the flea market. A 15,000 plus codes, uh, it's a 2006 edition, so, you know, PSP stuff, older games, things like that. Uh, secret code and consoles for, uh, seven consoles for 2007. Again, this is just stuff I'm showing to you because he threw it in there. Uh, strategy guide for Tony Hawk, America's Wasteland. 
a Brady Games Grand Theft Auto 4, and it has the poster. And a official Nintendo Power strategy guide for Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. Now, obviously, you know there's the Prima unofficial ones. This is the actual Nintendo Power one. So this one is actually worth like 15 bucks. So that's cool. And the reason that's in there, and I'm just going to show you, is because there was a copy of it in there. And again, that probably didn't focus, but whatever, we'll deal with that. So I'm going to go in order from genre and we'll take a look at some of this stuff. For the PlayStation 1, he had a copy of LEGO Island 2, and most people don't know this. I've left commentary for a few of the guys I watch, and they acknowledge it too. I actually worked for Funko Land 20 years ago. So in 1996, I worked for Funko Land. I used to sell Nintendos, guys. Nintendos. Yeah, that's how old I am. I know I don't look it, but I'm old. Anyway, moving on from there. He gave me another couple PSPs, what is now my fourth copy of Daxter, and I swear to God these are the Super Mario Duck Hunt of the PSP, and then another UMD, a uh, Family Guy the Freakin' Sweet Collection, which is cool because you get a few episodes on there, uh, what's the runtime? 112 minutes, so that's what, four, five episodes, that's cool. Um, moving on from there, Xbox, you have the Platinum Hits Doom 3. I know I said I would stop doing that, so there we go. Uh, the Doom 3 Resurrection of Evil. So that was cool. Moving on to the PlayStation 2, you had Bully and Dot Hack Infection, which I already showed you. Got a copy of The Sims 2, and these are all complete. So The Sims 2. Resident Evil 4. Greatest hits, unfortunately, but that's okay. And then he obviously must have had the triple pack at some point, possibly, although one is Black Label, the other two are Greatest Hits, so completely disregard what I just said. But Black Label Grand Theft Auto 3, Greatest Hits, Vice City, and this one has everything in it, including the map. And then a Grand Theft Auto, San Andreas, which just has the map but I don't think it's got the manual, or were they the same? I don't remember. But yeah, it's in real good shape otherwise, so that's cool. As well as a copy of Tony Hawk's Underground. And Tony Hawk's Underground 2, which I already have copies of. And then the original NFL Street, which is actually worth a little bit of dough from what I'm seeing. That's worth like 15 bucks by itself, so... Not going to complain about that. Next, we got some 360 games. Um, Rage, the Anarchy Edition. And I'm going to actually play this one. I like vehicular stuff and fighting and shooting, so we'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, I like that. Uh, Grand Theft Auto 4, and this does have the map and the manual and everything. And that goes with that strategy guide, obviously. Dead Rising 2. Eh, I played it. I can take it or leave it. Um, yeah, I, I don't really have an opinion on that one. And then, obviously, I'm a Forza fan, so a complete copy of Forza 3, both discs, um, all the download content and stuff, although that's more than likely been used, but I already have all the expansion packs already in my Xbox Live account, so I can just re-download them once I get that 500 gig hard drive put in my 360 Slim. So, I thought, awesome, but what else do I find tucked into the copy of Bully, Mario Kart on the Wii. Really good solid shape on the disc, so that still trades in for $17. And they're giving, they're again, still doing the same cash for trade um, until the 20th. So yeah, that's a $17 return right there. So this all became $83. But it gets better, kids, because he said he had a black 360 wireless controller. He couldn't find it. So rather than screw me over because he's actually a decent kid he's like I said a little sketchy but fine to me he gives me a halo edition odst wireless controller so that was cool of him i really wasn't even tripping over the controller because i basically just wanted the other stuff that i'm still haven't showed you 
So yeah, I got a Halo Edition ODST controller. That's going to be my main controller now. Um, I'll keep the black one and then I'll sell the two white ones in the wired afterglow. So a couple of game systems. One is a Game Boy Advance. It does work, but of course it's missing the battery ba battery cover. Um, I know where I can get an SP-101 that works really good, but the case is all hacked up. So I'm thinking this might be a good candidate to do the 101 conversion backlight. So, And if I do it, I'm also going to swap out for the lithium-ion battery. I will show you guys how to do that if I do get around to doing that. <clears throat> I apologize, my voice is going because I've been talking for so long. Um, a crimson and black DS light with possibly the worst hinge I've ever seen. I'm surprised it still works. However, it definitely does. I've already played a couple of games in it. And the screens are actually really clean. So, of course, uh, the screens are really clean. So, again, I'm happy because I've got so many parts ones laying around. This will be fixed before I even go to sleep. Um, next, a code breaker for the DS. Um, I don't recommend ever using a cheat device on DS because I know a lot of you guys, uh, kids more than likely, use them for like your Pokemons and things like that. These can corrupt them pretty badly. It can really royally screw with like your saved games. It can actually damage the DS or DS Lite or whatever system you're using. So again, do not recommend using these. Um, I don't even think I'll take it with me to the flea market, although I might, but if I sell them, I'll just sell them for a buck or something. But I will warn whoever buys them not to use them in their system. A couple of DS games, uh, Guitar Hero on Tour, as well as Nintendogs Dalmatians. So, whatever, didn't care about those. Uh, got an empty case for Pokemon Diamond version which I'll hold on to. It's got the manual, the inserts, everything in there, but who knows, maybe I can find one at the flea market tomorrow morning because, again, that's where I got the Mario Kart DS for 5 bucks. So if I can get a copy for 5 bucks and have it complete in there, that's, what, $40 game still? Yeah, again, score. All right, next we've got some GBA games. Obviously, I already showed you the Mario and Luigi um, I never know how to do this so that you can see it, but Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, which I will bundle with the game uh, strategy guy. Then you got a couple of Dragon Ball Z games. You've got, uh, which one is this one? This one is Super Sonic Warriors. Then you've got Boo's Fury. I always keep saying furry. I don't know why. And then, Black Label Working Doom. That's a $25 game by itself, kids. So, yeah, uh, this just keeps getting better and better and better. Um, the last thing I have, and again, absolutely blew me away when I saw what these were worth. Uh, a couple of them are only $10 games. Obviously, you've got um, Mega Man X Zero, the first one. Is it focusing now? Okay, I don't know. And then Mega Man X Zero 2. And then possibly one of the best ones in this entire set. Mega Man Battle Network, the first one. So, again... Today was my best day so far, and again, I didn't go out with the intention of doing this at all. This was just something that happened, and I will never say no to a day like this, because if you do the math in your head, for a $150 outlay, I probably got about $400 worth of stuff. And I may still get that Halo Reach Legendary edition if the flea market goes well because it's a $50 outlay that you know again can I really afford to do it don't know um I'm definitely keeping the 360 slim and I don't think I'm going to keep the 160 gig PS3 because I can get those all day long for 80 bucks Shh, I'm going to ask 100 um and we'll see 
but if it goes through most of the day and doesn't sell, I'm not too butt hurt if that doesn't sell. So I'm going to take that, the Wii systems, the controllers, all that stuff out there with me, and we'll see what happens. And I will definitely update you guys if it goes well. Now, that video won't be up till Monday. The one that's going to come out on Sunday, which is tomorrow, because it's now 1.30 in the morning and i got to get the heck out of here, was... Um, I'm going to do a 74,000 mile follow up on the Mustang. So we will talk about how it's held up under the abuse of its owner and any problems that have come up. And we'll see if you guys like that video as much as you have my other car videos because I'm, I'm really leaning towards starting a second channel just for the car. Um, leave me a comment if you guys think I should do that. Um, Otherwise, that's it for tonight, and I realize I'm saying um a lot. It's because I'm so goddamn tired that I could kill somebody just to go to jail so I can get some sleep. That's how tired I am. But, yeah, I'm, I could barely hold that. Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll take being tired because I just made an ass load of money today. Talk to you guys later.